this week's episode. Oh, white-tailed deer. <sighs> Male white-tailed deer shed their antlers in the winter. The antlers grow back every spring. Some female deer have been spotted with antlers, about 1 in 10,000. This usually means that the female is infertile, meaning her ovaries do not function properly and she cannot bear young. White-tailed deer have many predators, including bobcats, coyotes, and mountain lions. But don't worry, they're pretty fast and agile and have some tricks for evading these animals. They can run up to 30 miles per hour and can jump up to 10 feet high, up to a distance of 30 feet. That's half the length of an entire bowling alley. Because their eyes are on the sides of their head, white-tailed deer have 310 degree vision. That's almost as good as hammerhead sharks who have 360 degree vision. To put that in perspective, 360 degrees is a full circle. Deer are known as a keystone species because their feeding habits directly affect the ecosystems in which they live. A fawn can walk within 20 minutes of being born. It then takes about 24 hours for it to learn to run. It takes most human babies about a year to even take their first steps. That's our five facts for the week. But wait, there's a bonus. Deer have the same amount of teeth as we do, 32. All they want for Christmas, though, is their two front teeth. Deer have no upper front teeth. The space is instead occupied by thick layer of gristle, otherwise known as thick cartilage. Because they are herbivores and munch mostly on plants, they don't need the tough, sharp teeth like a tiger or lion. Both male and female deer have been spotted with antlers. Occasionally, infertile female deer have antlers. If you want to be sure whether you're looking at a male or a female, check the head. Females have rounded heads, and bucks have flat heads. Deer are slow, making them easy prey for bobcats and coyotes. Deer can run up to 30 miles per hour. The fastest humans can only run 28 miles per hour. Deer have the same amount of teeth as humans. Deer have 32 teeth, just like us. Our inspiration location this week was Bledsoe Creek State Park in Gallatin, Tennessee, right alongside Old Hickory Lake. The park has six different trail options, and three of them are ADA accessible. We've linked to the park website and the trail map in the show description. Thanks for watching, Sister Nature. We'll be heading back outside next week, finding new facts and trying not to trip. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. And help spread the word about us by sharing this video. Can't wait till next week? Follow us on Instagram for clues about our upcoming episodes. See you on the trails. See ya.